anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us solve and interpret measure supposition group data. So let us solve example number one. The table above, this table, shows the monthly salary of 60 employees in a company. Let us find the percentage of the employees who have monthly salaries lower than 25 so 25,000 is between 23,000 to 25,999. So it means this is the percentile class. So this is the percentile class of the salary 25,000. The formula to identify the percentage, the percentile rank that is equal to 100 divided by N, multiply it with the quantity P minus LB times F sub B over interval plus CF sub B. So copy 100, the value for N that is 60, let us copy, and then the value for P that is 25,000 minus the lower boundaries of the percentile class that is 22,999.50, let us write, the frequency of the percentile class that is 12, and then the interval between 14,000 to 16,999, that is equal to 3,000, plus the CF sub B, less than the cumulative frequency percentile class. So before that, before 56, that is 44. So copy 44. So let us solve. 100 divided by 60, that is 1.67. 25,000 minus 22,999.50, that is equal to 2,050.50. Copy 12 divided by 3,000 plus 44. P sub PR, again, copy 1.67 and then 2,000.5 times 12, that is 24,006. Copy 3,000 plus 44. P sub PR, it is equal to 1.67. So let us divide this one. 24,006 divided by 3,000, that is 8.002 or that is 8.00 or 8 only. Copy 44. So 8 plus 44, 1.67 copy, so that is 52. If we multiply 1.67 times 52, the answer is equal to 86.84. So if we round off, that is equal to 87. So the P sub PR, that is equal to 87. So let us interpret now. If the P sub PR it is equal to 87, it means 87% of the employees have monthly salaries lower than 25,000. How about example number two of the measures of position decile? A survey was conducted among 40 people to find out the number of times each of them eat in a fast food or restaurant in a week. Find the fourth decile and interpret your answer. Let us find first the fourth decile class. So that is decile four class. It is equal to the value of K that is four. Multiply it with the total frequency that is 40 over 10. Four times 40, that is 160 divided by 10, that is 16. So the decile four class, it is 16. So 16 is between 15 and 24. So we will choose the higher, that is 24. So it means the decile four class, that is the interval four to six. This is our decile for class. The frequency is 9. The lower class boundaries is 3.5. The formula for the decile of group data, that is LV, plus the quantity K times N over 10, because that is decile, minus the less than the cumulative frequency all over F sub DK times I. The lower boundaries of the decile for class, that is 3.5, so let us copy, plus the value of K, that is equal to 4, 
times n, that is 40, divided by 10. The less than the cumulative frequency before the decile for class, that is 15, so minus 15. The frequency of the decile for class, that is equal to 9, so let us copy. And then the interval between 1 to 3 or 4 to 6 or any, any interval of this, that is equal to 3. So let us solve now. Decile 4, it is equal to 3.5, copy, and then 4 times 40 divided by 10, that is 16, copy negative 15, copy positive 9, and then 3. Decile 4 is equal to 3.5, and then 16 minus 15, that is equal to 1, copy 9, and then copy positive 3. So copy 3.5, 1 times 3 is 3, divided by 9. So copy the decile 4, and then copy 3.5. 3 divided by 9, that is equal to 0 0.33. If we add 3.5 and 0 0.33, that is equal to 3.83 or that is equal to 4. So the decile 4, that is equal to 4 or 3.83. So let us interpret now. It means decile 4, that is 40% of the people eats in fast food or restaurant four times in a week. How about example number 3? Based on the table above, Arabella got a score of 35 points in 50 item tests in English. She wants to know the standing of her score among the class. Arabella's score in English exam, she used the percentile rank. So, let us see 35 points. So 35 points is between 32 to 35 intervals. So this is our percentile class. To identify the percentile rank, the formula P sub PR, it is equal to 100 divided by N, multiply it with P minus LV times F sub B over I plus CF sub B. So the value of n, that is 50. So 100 divided by 50, and then our p is 35, score of Arabella is 35, minus the percentile class, the lower boundaries of the percentile class, that is 31.5, and then the frequency of the percentile class, that is 15, over 24 to 27, the interval is 4. And then... The less than the cumulative frequency before the percentile class, that is equal to 22. So let us solve. 100 divided by 50 is 2. And then 35 minus 31.5, that is equal to 3.5. Copy 15, copy 4, copy 22. So P sub PR, it is equal to 2. And then 3.5 times 50, that is 52.5. Copy 4, copy 22. So copy 2. Let us divide 52.5 divided by 4. So 52.5 divided by 4, that is equal to 13.13. And then copy 22. So afterwards, let us add 13.13 13 plus 22, that is copy 2, that is 35.13. If we multiply 35.13 13 times 2, that is equal to... 70.26. So if we estimate, that is equal to 70. If P sub BR it is equal to 70, it means 70% of the students who got a score lower than 35, while 100 minus 70, that is 30%. So 30% of the students got a score higher than 35. So how we interpret Arabella's score? So it means 30% of the students are higher than Arabella's score. In example number four, Mr. Cinco conducted a 50-item summative test in mathematics to his grade 10 students. A score of 35 and above will pass the exam. Jenny, one of the students, and her score belong to 75 percentile. Should Jenny be glad about her score or not? So let us see first the 75 percentile. So the 75 percentile is 35 and above. So the 35 and above, that is from 36 to 40. So this is the 75 percentile. So 
So the 75 percentile, so this is the class of the 75 percentile, it is also equal to Q sub 3. So this is also the Q sub 3 class. So we may use the formula for the percentile of group data or the quartile of group data. Right now, we will use the quartile of group data. The formula for the quartile of group data, that is LB, plus the quantity K times N over 4, minus the less than the cumulative frequency, minus the frequency of the Q sub K times the interval. So, Q sub K, or the Q sub 3, it is equal to lower boundaries of the class. So, this class is the 75 percentile, or the Q sub 3. So, that is 35.5, plus the value of K, that is equal to 3, Multiply it with n, the n that is 50 over 4. Less than the cumulative frequency before the class, before the Q sub 3 or the 75 percentile class, that is 27. And then the frequency of the 75 percentile or the Q sub 3, that is 11. Multiply it with the interval from 21 to 25, that is equal to 5. So let us continue to solve. So copy 35.5 and then 3 times 50 is 150 divided by 4, that is 37.5. Copy 27, copy 11, copy positive 5. Afterwards, let us copy 35.5 and then let us subtract. 37.5 minus 27, that is equal to 10.5. Afterwards, let us copy 35.5. 10.5 times 5, the answer is equal to 52.5. Copy 11. And then let us divide. 52.5 divided by 11, that is equal to 4.77. So let us round off. That is 4.7727. So yung katabi ng 7 is 2, so that becomes 4.77. So let us add. 35.5 plus 4.77, that is equal to 4.27. So the Q sub 3, that is equal to 40.27. So how, how we interpret now? If the Q sub 3 is equal to 40.27, so the Q sub 3, that is equal to 75% of the students who got a score less than or equal to 36 to 40. While Jenny should be glad that her score belonged to 36 to 40 and she passed the exam. Instruction, solve the problem, and interpret the results. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.